Artistic Family, welcome back. Today I have a piece of MDF by Art Mind that I got at Michael's. And what my plan is, is to get the letter G and then the AND sign, the A and the D for Shannon Gibson Art and Designs. And depending on how they finish, I may varnish them, but if not, I'm gonna leave them as B because I normally don't varnish my stuff because I do use metallics and Liquitex pouring medium mixed in with the metallics, leaves me a super gorgeous finished result and extremely shiny and I don't really feel the need to varnish. But this is painted white on both sides. I already have my hanging hook edged out. But I was thinking for maybe part of a home decor DIY because I do do some of those videos, guys. I don't do, I haven't done a whole lot so far. I have done two. I will link those for you guys to watch my home decor DIY art projects. But I might actually take the back off of the, um, the backing of a picture frame. Um, you know, like the kind of kickstand, if you want to call it, that actually sets the picture up. And I might actually glue it to the back with some Gorilla Glue or E6000 and then stand up all the letters. So that might be something I'll do in the future, but it, um, so make sure your notification bells are on so that if I do, you can watch that video. So anyways, guys, I have two two ounce solo cups here. I want a monochrome type of look. So I'm gonna be using my ready mixed, you got it, metallic silver, my acrylic flow white by Artist Loft as well as my bronze. <clears throat> I've got everything ready here. Super excited and how I'm going to layer these is kind of like a split cup. So I'm going to pour paint on each side and hopefully I don't pour too much on the wood here. I'm just going to layer them the same and I wanted just <clears throat> um, a monochrome type of look guys. I didn't want any super bright colors in these. Um, I'm thinking that the end sign is going to be done in one simple color and then I'll figure out what the A and the D will be when that time comes. I'm definitely not filling both of these cups. I might put about an ounce, an ounce and a half in each one. But I may have wanted to make sure that I had enough because I really wanted um, it to go down the sides. I'm going to pour some of my silver up high and in the center just to see what happens. Oftentimes that will create some lacing in cells and that would be cool to have that in this. Okay, so I'm just doing one small layer again and we'll be good guys. Okay. Excited about this one. <clears throat> so all I have under here, guys, is like a drawer organizer for spoons, forks, and knives. I will use it for a pour because I have a couple ideas in mind at some point. So of course I got some on here. So I'm just basically got a dirty cup, guys. I'm doing a dirty pour over this, no special design.
Love it. Tilt that off. Over here. If you guys can see okay, because of the curve, there are going to be some spots that you won't be able to see as well. Okay, this on this side here. Okay. Okay, let me put this down for a sec, guys, and um, see how much paint I need to add on here. Got quite a bit here on my parchment paper, which is another reason why I love it. Paint doesn't stick to it, it's very easy to grab. I just want to make sure this is gorgeous, it looks like a piece of marble. And um, I don't think I've done only this variation before of my neutral metallics. I've used tons of variations and various techniques, but I don't believe I've used only the just these three colors. And um, I love it. Love it. I love it. Okay. Down here on it. I'm going to take the excess off and then I'll go and get the bits. This looks so much like marble, guys. Even the insides. Absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I love it. I love it. Now I am going to put this on a drying rack once I'm done with it, just so I can really let it drip. I did not, as you guys probably noticed, I did not bother taping the back or covering the back of this up because I'm just simply going to end up painting it. Oh, I'm stuck. Take another look from every angle. And this looks great, guys. So I think right now what I'm going to do is just flip this cup. Messy. Move this out the way. Get rid of this because the suction keeps grabbing it and set that right there. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you guys in for a close up. Well guys, I what can I say? This would look gorgeous as a table or on glass, um, which I actually have something in mind for that, speaking of that, and I might actually use these three colors. It's an accent table, um, it's glass, it's probably about three feet long. And uh, I've been thinking for a little bit now that I'm definitely going to do that, whether it was a pour or use resin, not sure yet, but I definitely think that I might use this color palette. I love the movement. I've got a few cute little cells that popped up here on the side, guys. Um, I just love these colors together. Very monochrome, simple, yet uh, elegant. And I can't wait to do the rest of the letters. So as usual, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next pour. Thank you for watching.